Hey there, toy enthusiasts! Get ready for another action-packed adventure because today we are embarking on another epic toy hunt here in Twin Falls. We're going to be hitting Target, Ross, and Walmart today, looking for Transformers, G.I. Joe Classified. Man, we're going to be looking for Masters of the Universe, Turtles of Grayskull. We're going to be looking at some WWE figures, some AEW figures if they show up. We're going to be looking for some Marvel Legends, and we're going to be looking for Turtles and NECA. So we've got a big plate. I specifically am trying to look for another Turtles of Grayskull Leonardo because when we hit 400 on our subscription, we're going to give him away if I can find him. So cross your fingers for luck and let's hope we can find him. So with that said, get your caffeine ready. We've got a lot of places to hit. So let's get going and hit those stores. Coming to you from a basement somewhere in BFE, Idaho. I'm Joel and this is Talking Toys. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal. First stop, Target. Known in Twin Falls for its better toy selection. Let the thrill of the hunt begin. Pardon me. Okay, let's get to it. We're looking at some Virgil Build-A-Figures for WWE. There's Brock Lesnar and I think it was, um, what was that? Batista and Beth Phoenix are the only ones that they had there for those. There's a lot of, of hair... Hulk Hogan, which I'm surprised they're not calling Terry Boulder, because I think that's who it was. They had a couple of Andre the Giants, but no Chase figure. More of the, the Hulk Hogan's and Iron Sheik. And then they had some Jimmy Hart. They had a, a Seth Rollins polka dot, so I guess Dusty Rollins. Iron Sheik again. Ultimate Warrior from the, I guess, the Ultimates line. It's nothing but Ultimate Warrior there. There's the three faces of Hulk Hogan. And let's see. Heading over to Star Wars. Some bo -Katan. Just some bo -Katan hollow figures. Uh, and let's see, we've got Trent and... Oh, crap. What was his partner's name? Uh, Chuck Taylor and Trent and, and Hobbs. So, and then it's the same peg warmers that we've had before as far as the uh, vintage stuff goes. A lot of Grand Inquisitors. It still looks like we got those Lando Calrissian that aren't going to go anywhere. Some turtles. Same way for for Masters of the Universe. Can't wait to see those go away and something new come in. And of course, they brought out some Masterverse. Now, these are all Masterverse they had over a year ago that went on clearance, and it seemed like they had all disappeared, but they have made a comeback. Either like a bad penny or that cat from that song. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments down below. There's Sunman Trio, Turtle Bike. Some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I was looking for a foot soldier. Seems to be really hard to find. They do have Rocksteady Tempting because... I don't have him. And, of course, he has some Godzilla stuff. It looks like it was all Kong figures, if I remember here. Yep, it's all Kong. It looks really cool. I can't wait to see this movie. Yet. Uh, oh, yeah, I found that hiding behind the Kong figures. There's Kong, or, uh, there's uh, Godzilla's face as a mask. All right, we're on the Transformer side of things. Let's see if there's anything that I care about over here. Oh no, so sad. I'm actually looking at a at a uh, ratchet. His head came off. Someone took his head. I was letting the the sales rep know. Got a bunch of um, Daniels with the Dinobots, RC86. This guy, I don't know who he is. Let me know in the comments below. I don't watch the cartoon, so I don't know the characters. You'll see they still have that uh, Stranger Things crossover figure over there, too. But uh, that poor, poor ratchet missing his head is such a shame. At this point, I actually had to jump over to the other side. So there was this really nice lady that was stalking uh, some of the toys and stuff, so I wanted to be out of her way. But there was some Mark IIs. Uh, a lot of MJs. Mark 46. We come down here. Uh, same G.I. Joe's as always. We're not seeing anything new there. 
There's the Fright feature Ray. Some of the new Ghostbuster figures. I'm not really sold on those yet. And then, of course, we've got Red Tornado, gold cover, or gold label. And we've got Animal Man, gold label. So that's about it there. Uh, Trouble Bubble is still there. Python Patrol. That was kind of it. There was a, a Mutt and Junkyard down there, and I, I missed it. Let's check out collectibles. All right. So they've got these uh, Batman and Robin with the little breathers, rebreathers on. Those things have been sitting here for a while. Uh, there's Rui from Dragon Slayer, Dragon Slayer, Demon Slayer. Uh, there's the Spock, uh, Princess Leia Pop, kind of neat. Uh, they have some more of those little small little figurine things from, I guess, Funko. There's Superman, Ash. They actually have two Ashes there, the clean and the bloody. There's Ray Filet from that last Turtles movie. Let's see. Um, just a bunch of different pops down there. Uh, there's the Wanderer, uh, Michelangelo, which looks really cool, and I'm half tempted to pick him up to add it to my collection. Um, it's really, really trying to figure out if this is where I wanted to go with it, or if I just wanted to keep it at the last Ronin. Uh, there's Hawkman. There's the Shredders, the mutant or the clone Shredders, but there's Hawkman there. And some more Wanderers in the back. Uh, some gold label Aquaman. This is before, and I'll say it again. Aquaman sucks. <laughs> Yeah, there's Sinestro. Uh, I was here last week, like near the end, and they actually had the uh, the platinum version of Sinestro. I really should have picked it up, but it looks like all they have now is just the normal version. And they got Steel Clan, they got ET, they've got Armored Xanatos, Angela, and Elise, Elisa. Uh, then they've got Abyss here. That was kind of neat. I had to pick that up and take a closer look at it. I was confusing Abyss with someone else, and I can't think of who it was, sadly. They have a Wolfman Wrath. So I guess it's just a whole new run of uh, Universal Monsters. But he looks cool. I mean, even though I mentioned before I'm not a, a horror movie kind of person, I mean, it, it does look good. I just probably won't pick it up. And it's kind of the rest of it. There's the last Ronin figure. It's the same one they've always had. I wanted to see if they had any other Dungeons and Dragons figures other than Zarek, but it looks like they didn't. And that was kind of everything on the aisle there. When it comes down to it, I guess it means we ain't found shit. Time for a unique twist in our adventure as we explore Ross's. Can we find a McFarlane figure or a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle or perhaps even a hidden gem of Masters of the Universe? Let's dive in and find out. All right, we are in and first thing I see is Darwin over here and looks like a Mandalorian bank or something, like a coin bank. Uh, well, there's Sin from McFarlane figures. Cool, but I didn't get, I don't get into a lot of the McFarlane figures. Especially when I don't know these characters. There's a second sin. Uh, there's the mage from Dungeons and Dragons. And the adventurer. The warrior. Uh, I don't think the bard was there anymore. Those have, those have gone through pretty quickly. I'm surprised. Some dark guns. Little Jurassic Park mini thing. Uh, I don't even know what the hell that was. I'm not sure why I was looking at it. More kids, there's just a lot more like younger kids' toys and not so much collectibles. It's Master Gundam from G Gundam. And this is actually kind of a cool one. It's a Gundam, I think it was Gundam E08 or something like that. E80? EZ8? I don't know. Uh, more. Master Gundams, more RX-48, 78s, RX-78s. There's an AEW ring there. Uh, they also have the entrance way. They have a lot of rings, and they have a lot of the entrance ways. So if anyone's interested in those things, you know, I could probably help you out, grab them, and, you know, we could work something out. 
let me know in the comments below if those are like really worth it. It seems like they still go for pretty good on retail, but these things are like, you know, relatively dirt cheap. Uh, got more guns, X, X shots. And this Power Ranger sword. It's a lot of junk. Hot Wheels. Nothing really worthwhile. Some more anime figures that, well, like, not figurines, not figures. Or figurines, not figures. There's a uh, Croc Master. Still got a couple of those. And that's pretty much the constant, that and the twins, and we'll see those in a second. This is kind of like a 4D puzzle. No, there's barbecue. We still got barbecue over there. Anyone who's looking for it, let me know. Uh, you know, I'm always happy to kind of help out a fellow collector. So there's RX-78, RX uh, Long, another RX. This is a uh, full, full burn? No, it's something else. Ah, oh, crap, I forgot I couldn't read it. Uh, the one in the back here, this is the full burn. Or full burner. The other one began with an A, and I, I just I knew I should have read it closer, and I didn't. Shin Long, Shin Long. So, those are the twins. There's uh, more twin. Croc Master. And that's kind of it on the aisle. It's just really not a lot there. A couple more dart guns. I'm trying to make this seem like there's some stuff here, but I think I'm kind of just more wishing I'm going to see something. So, twins, let's I'll tell you what, let's go up to the front now and just kind of see what was left at the front. Okay, so here we go. It's just, it's a big mess up here. It's just blue marble. There's siren. Uh, I actually had to turn the sound down on this one. That's Army, Navy, Sail Army Sailor, uh, Blue Space Ranger. Uh, I had to turn the sound down because I was picking up the music and I didn't want to get a copyright strike. So, uh, some more Transformers, some more Siren. I'm probably going to go back and just pick her up at this point. Some Princess Leia's back there. Uh, Warlin. There's some junk under here. Another Princess Leia. Lots of Transformers. A lot of the ones that we've been seeing over and over again. Uh, let's see. Darla from something. There's another sailor. Cersei. Cersei again from the Eternals. Let's see. Not a lot. Anyone want a tea set? <laughs> There's a uh, Vulcan. There's Siren. Transformers. I think that was a Jaguar officer from Andor. Uh, anyone want a lollipop? Oh, I found some Hilfiger, uh, Tommy Hilfiger sunglasses. How cool is that? Right there in there. I, I didn't buy them, though. I'm, I'm just saying it was Tommy Hilfiger, so. Trying to sound cool, but making a probably a serious 90s reference. Because that was big then. Uh, ask your parents, kids, if you don't know what I'm talking about. So that was about it, which means... At this store, there's only one thing that to say about what we found. We ain't found shit. Let's venture into Walmart, shall we? A haven for action figures. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I can't even fucking read this with a straight face. The lesson here, boys and girls, is proofread your stuff before you actually read it. Uh, so we're just looking at some of the Transformers. There was a, a Fallen and, and uh, I forgot what his name is. Slug, Sladge, Slug, someone. <laughs> Sorry, because I'm still laughing. Not much in the way of Transformers. Um, still kind of seeing the same thing over and over again. There's the party wagon. There's some Kong stuff. Some larger turtles. Let's see. Yeah, just some movie turtle figures, which are hit and miss with me. There's a filet, Ray. Ray filet. And back there, if we can get ourselves to just focus. Focus. There's a Baxter, a Wingnut, a Mondo Gecko, Ray Filet, and Genghis Frog. Uh, so, yeah.
Oh, and then there's another Baxter. So let's see here. Not much. It's the same Marvel Legends, Ant-Man Wave. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a Crimson Guard. Uh, more Ant-Man Wave. And I think there was a couple from the awesome Hulk. A lot of Wakanda Forever stuff. Uh, let's see here. Some Jurassic Park. Not that I was actually looking for anything this time there. But it was kind of neat. Same Batman stuff. Nothing new. Shredding into the Star Wars territory. And we still got that Christmas thing that's on full sale. Like full price. It's on sale for full price, that little Christmas guy. Hey, look, there's some CM Punks. I wonder if those things are actually worth anything anymore from AEW or, you know, or what. There's Ezra, Chopper, the rest of the Ahsoka figures are over here, except for Ahsoka. So it's Ahsoka Sans Ahsoka. Sans Ahsoka. There's a Boba Fett. A few AEW figures. There's Pighead, and behind him is Manny Faces. Oh, there he is, right there. Look at that. Still wave four. Never getting rid of them. That they're gonna die on those shelves. When that store closes down, those things are still gonna be on that shelf. There's Point Dread. And then we look at the G.I. Joe's. Got one rock and roll. We got Iron Grenader. We've got some Crimson and Lady J. Again, those are gonna die on those shelves. So let's go check out the collectibles looks like they have some just so you guys know i i am a green lantern fan but i don't like alan scott because he just like aquaman aquaman sucks so we still got the shredder and the donatello down there so it looks like we've got a an ang and a naruto statuette and there's some trunks from sh figure arts over there uh, a couple of the mezco figures green lantern and aquaman and then uh, we got some G.I. Joe reaction figures from Super 7. There's Splinter. Again, great figure. I don't know why it sits there. That is an awesome figure. Then we've got some of these anime figures. The Bleach, White Ichigo. Uh, yeah, I got some. I don't know what that one's from. But yeah, like if you know. Or some like, I know I know the bleach ones. I just don't know what the other one is from. But that's pretty much it, I guess. We don't really have a whole heck of a lot. I guess it means that we got one thing left to say for what we found. Aquaman sucks. <laughs> we ain't found shit. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for more epic toy reviews and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep those figures posing and those collections growing. This is Joel from Talking Toys, signing